Supreme's Week 8 is here, and it is bringing us stuff that's not quite as good as last week. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to take a look at Supreme's Week 8. It's definitely not as good as Week 7, but there are a couple of items that are coming out this week that I think you should pay attention to, like this Maradona jersey. Girl! I'll go over that and everything else that is dropping this week. But first, I want to make sure that you guys have the resources to cop all of the hype stuff that's coming down the pipeline. And you can do that by joining Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Larry's Streetwear Calendar keeps you up to date on every drop that's happening throughout the week. Manny lists out all the shoes that are dropping throughout the month that you should pay attention to. The New Wave Lee has hooked us up with some free Supreme Community Monitors. And I'm pretty sure they're better than Supreme Community. Plus we have Reup23 running a bot for the Discord. He hit a bunch of stuff for members last week. So join up on the Discord, let him do the same for you. Best of all, price is free. All you gotta do is click my invite link in the description below and you're in. And if you enjoy these videos, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? I mean, at the end of the day, it's the least you could do, you freeloader. You know, some people have no willpower, no brains, no vision. They just drift through life like lumps of crap. What is she talking about? Alright, let's get into this drop. First up, we have these nylon cargo pants. Um, again, I, I, these are personals. If you like them, grab them. They should be pretty nice, but they're not gonna flip. Next up, we have the warm-up short sleeve top. Again, another personal. I do like the colorways on this. The one that's in the front right there actually does look pretty good, but it's gonna be hard for me to say these are anything other than a personal as well. Yeah, off to a bad start, unfortunately. Next up, we have the Pro Bowl Pill Hat. This gives me some kind of like veteran from the 70s vibe, but at the same time, I'm kind of digging it. It's something different. I dig the maroon one, I dig the black one, and I guess that blue one as well. It's hard for me to say that these will flip or anything, but it's a different type of hat. I don't remember Supreme putting one of these out. I'm sure they have before, but it's not something that they make all the time. So I appreciate that it's a different hat but it probably isn't really gonna flip either. But if you're buying something else and you want to do a decent multi-cart, what the heck, throw one in, right? Next up, the loose fit short sleeve Oxford shirt, the Manny special. He has definitely got to cop one of these things, but if your name isn't Manny and you don't want these for the personal, I would not be picking them up with the intention to resell because that just ain't gonna happen, buddy. The my... answer is never. I could... Do you hear me? Never ever! Next up, we have the Rigid Baggy Selvage Denim Short. These are kind of interesting. I'm not a really big fan of jean shorts, but the Selvage Jean Short definitely perks my interest. These are going to be really nice quality items. The retails that I have on the screen right now are estimated, but I do expect these shorts to be kind of pricey. I really don't expect there to be a ton of demand for these things, but it is a cool item, and definitely if you want them, you better pick them up, because I expect the salvage stuff to be a little bit more limited than most jeans. Uh, next up, we have this nylon coat. Uh, I guess it goes along with the nylon cargo pants. Not really a fan of this one at all. It just kind of looks like a basic nylon jacket. I don't want to say brick but unless you're wearing it, don't buy it. Next up, we have this star sweater. Um, not really my favorite sweater that they've ever made. I don't know if I really love the color choices that they made on these either. I guess that blue one kind of looks okay, but I don't really expect too much out of these. They don't look that great. I don't expect them to really sell out. And it doesn't really have any branding on it either, so I'm gonna say let's move along. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Next up, we have the Immortal Hooded Sweatshirt. Now, actually, this one is a little bit of a sleeper to me. I think this has a really nice back hit, big supreme spell out, and those colorways look pretty decent. I know it's kind of basic, kind of plain, but big supreme hit. You get those big sizes XL, XXL, you might can do something. Definitely not as good as any of the MM6 stuff from last week, but again, a potential sleeper. If I was going to guess on which one would be the best, potentially the red one, because it's red on white, maybe the black one. I like the purple one as well, but I wouldn't venture too far out of the black and the red, and I really would only be targeting XXLs in these if you wanted to make a little bit of profit on them. But you could probably do just as good not buying anything as well. All that being said, I would expect the only sizes to sell out in these are probably XXL and 
maybe the XL in like red or black. Next up, we have the small box Regalian crew neck. This is going to be a really, really thin crew neck. Drops has it listed at 138. I would expect these to be maybe closer to 118, but who knows? Maybe it is 138. Either way, it doesn't matter. Totally a personal. Let's keep going. Next up, we have the Supreme Ortlieb. I don't think I'm saying that right. Large roll top backpack. Now, these are completely waterproof backpacks. 113 liters. That's a pretty big bag. And the estimated retail on that reflects it being right around $200. I will say that some green items from Supreme have been doing really well lately but it is going to be hard for me to justify anyone buying these bags for resale with those retail prices on all of them being pretty high. I feel like if you were going to take a gamble on this, maybe the green one is the one to gamble on, but I'm really not the biggest fan of these bags, and that retail price makes me kind of want to back away altogether. Next up, I think this might be my personal favorite item of the week, the Gem Studdered Leather Jacket. This is a really cool leather jacket. It's definitely going to be like a grand or something, so it's not like I'm going to buy one, but I think it is really, really cool. I have a hard time telling anyone to buy this for resale with a $1,000 price point. That fur coat last week was something completely different. I know that one's doing okay. I would probably say this is most likely a personal or a potentially longer hold. I don't see them making very many of these so you should be able to recoup your money if for some reason you decided to buy it for reselling but I wouldn't however if you do pick one up please show us in the discord I want to see you wearing that thing that is a super huge flex of an item uh, next up we have this small messenger bag from the bag collab again these have a really high retail price 188 that's kind of silly a 14 liter bag that's a lot smaller than the backpack i feel like that retail might be a little bit off i would say maybe around 118 130 something like that either way still a little bit too expensive for this type of bag if you were gonna gamble that green one maybe is the one that would do the best they usually have a limited amount of that extra colorway besides the white and black but honestly i would say don't do that for resale just buy it if you want it otherwise keep going next up we have the two-tone s logo hat now the two-tone cap caps just came out and they did okay the blue and red colorway did sell out in that batch and we have one of those here with the s logo so that might be a good place to start when i'm saying what to pick up from this group and then for some reason denim hats usually do okay from supreme they have been making quite a lot of them lately but this one looks pretty good and i do like the two-tone nature of it we have a laker colorway the black one is just black and that weird is a khaki green one that kind of catches my eye as well i think these are some interesting colorway choices that they made i don't dislike them i think it's cool and i don't think that we'll see hats like this coming down the line anytime soon again so i would say if there's any of those that catch your eye pick them up great little holds i'm sure you can make a little bit of money on them down the road and again for this particular group i would probably focus on that denim colorway and then maybe that red and blue colorway because it did so well for the camp cap trust me i'm like a smart person uh next up we have the waterproof duffel bag again really expensive item 40 liters though that's a really big duffel bag i believe that's the same size as the large duffel bags that they released last year the leather ones so it is a really big duffel bag but the price point that drops has on it is 278 dollars so that isn't that far off of the price of the leather one that came out last year which is a little bit silly to me again if you're gonna gamble i would say probably go for that green one but i would just be buying these if you want them and not really buying them to flip the only caveat is if they're extremely rare and they do sell out fast obviously they will resell but that's a lot of risk to take and generally you can't hurt yourself too bad when you're picking up bags from supreme however the retails are really going to cut into the profit of any of these bags that you decide to pick up next up we have the box logo new era mesh back i'm just not really a fan of fitted mesh backs however that camo colorway does look pretty nice i would most likely recommend to go after that one if you were targeting anything from this bunch but in my opinion the new eras have been sitting on the the site forever i even saw size 8 city in the last time we had a new era so i really do think that 100 the fitted cap from supreme ship has sailed i would really not be targeting these for resale at all but if you do want one for the personal they do look great so there you go oh you think you're fancy 
Next up, the only item I think I would actually say go after this for resale, the Maradona soccer jersey. Now, I think this thing will fly off of the website, and I do believe that there will be resale in it. If it does have a 110 price point like Drops is saying, no brainer, go after it. You're going to be able to make your money. These should flip for somewhere around 200, maybe more if they're super popular or if they're really rare. In my opinion, safest item to go for this week if you're looking to buy something to resell, grab this, maybe a hat. I feel like these will fly though, so maybe not even worth it putting anything else in the cart. Just pick this up and go. Really cool piece. Your boy Maradona is staring death into your soul. And if you don't pick one of these up, he's just going to stare right at you until you fall over. You really want to be focusing on XXL, XL, like I say, for pretty much everything. Jersey specifically, people like them oversized, so you really can't get hurt too bad by buying the XXL for this. No question about it, this is my number one item of the week for all the resellers out there. And here we are, the number one item of the week, the Supreme French Coffee Press. It makes eight cups of coffee. What more do you want? This is another one of those cool little items to have. I'm not really sure if it'll flip or not. If the retail is in fact $54 though, this might be another good item to pick up. I think the Maradona jersey has way more potential than the French press. If the French press is rare, you could probably sell it for like a hundred bucks, somewhere in there. So if the retail is actually 54, maybe not a bad thing to pick up as well. For some reason, I expect the retail to be higher than 54, maybe closer to $80. And if that's the case, I really don't like it as much for a reseller. It's a really cool piece, really nice item to have in the background or in your kitchen, but it's one of those that you would have to take a gamble on and hope that it just sells out so the price goes up. That being said, your boy probably needs to get him an 8-cup French press. Écoute mon vieux, tu n'apprendras jamais à parler le français, c'est pas ce qu'il faut, tu es un imbécile, ça ne vaut pas la peine de continuer cette conversation. There you go, guys, the week 8 drop list. I just put it out there for you. What do you think? You going to go after anything this week? That Maradona jersey is definitely going to be a great one to pick up. But if you do decide to sleep, it's probably for the best, quite honestly. What a wonderful morning. To stay in bed. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you gonna go after anything for the drop? What do you think about it? And hey, just you know, make fun of me if you want. I don't care. Just throw a comment. It helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I will not be able to do a live stream tomorrow. Obviously, I'm traveling again. We'll get back into it next week. And if for some reason this video didn't give you the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. I'm a host who Twenty carat ring, I put my fingers down her throat. If I lose a carrot, she might choke.